from Adrian Broner. Adrian, congratulations on the victory. Believe what it or not, it's, what been, it? it's been four years since you've had that arm raise. How did that feel to get a victory? Um, that was, I mean, it was cool. It was, it was, uh, you know, I, I want to go home and, and really look at my, look at, look at my fight. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't fought in two years. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? But I felt good. I felt like I won the fight. I felt like I beat him with a jab, honestly. But, you know, it felt good to get my hand raised, though. Uh, when you look at this fight, it seemed like watching the fight, Adrian Broner turned it up after the sixth round. More of a fill-out round, it seemed like, the, the early in the fight. And then after the sixth, it seemed like you turned it on. What did you think about your performance there? Um, Like I said, man, I, I got to go home and uh, uh, assess my performance. But, uh, but you know... I really didn't warm up that much. So later on in the fight, I, I felt warm, so I started picking it up, and I started feeling good. Was he tougher, a tougher opponent than you expected? I knew he was, I knew the motherfucker was going to be tough because he's 14-0. You know, and anybody with that O want to keep that O, so they're going to fight they gonna fight like a bum fighting for a sandwich, man. You know what I'm saying? So he was fighting to keep that O, so I knew he was going to be tough. But, uh, you know, um, I, got, I came in, and I, and I got the job done. And when I came up here, I seen that uh, Farhood had me losing. See, that's why I don't fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, though. Like, you, 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 my homie. But let me ask you this. If you look at the, the Twitter poll, 52% of the people who watched the fight thought. Hey, if you look at my Twitter, 98% of them don't like me. So, so fuck Twitter and fuck Steve Farhood. Uh, so l let, me, let me ask you this, then. Going into this and after this, is there anything that you feel like, hey, maybe I, I need to change? Like, you know, going to everyone to see, is Adrian going to throw more? Um, what do you think? What do you think you need to change? I'm going to change my draws and, draw, and throw on some more boxers because my boxers are sweaty. But like I said, until I go look at my performance, then I, I know what I work on. But, you know, um, I want to um, take this time, you know, to thank God, you know, for, for putting me back on this platform and being able to, to fight again. And I want to I want to say uh, R.P. to my homie uh, um, Steel, 2 5 West Side, baby, man. He, he died the other day. And, um, you know, uh, this is for Cincinnati, man. You know, uh, uh, we won this one. Everybody, everybody, I hope y'all doubled up because I know y'all be betting on me and shit. How active will you be this year? Um, I want to say to Al Heyman and, uh, and, and Mr. Espinosa, hey, listen, man, keep me in the ring. Now, now, if 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 I was if I was fighting on the regular, maybe maybe Buddy wouldn't have lasted. But just keep me in the ring, and, and maybe we'll stop fighting cases, and maybe we'll stop getting in trouble. Just keep me in the ring where, where I can be, keep training and and do what I do what I do. You said we will see a different Adrian Broner. How different? will we see now going forward like now are you going right back to training see that's the thing see that's the thing it is a different ab it is it is it is what 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 happened was i only had 13 dollars coming into this motherfucker fight we didn't flip that to about 13 million so 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 a lot of things go change we gonna listen listen i ain't gonna lie for the rest of the weekend, we're going to pop bottles, cash checks, and have sex. But on Monday, it's back to kicking ass and hitting bags, though. Real talk. And and when you come back, the next fight is the next fight at 140. Um, The next fight, well, well when I come back, hopefully this COVID mess is over with. Because, you know, when you get here, you can't do nothing. You can't go nowhere. You can't go nowhere. You can't you, you can't see nobody. You know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing. They watch you. and I mean, you mean they own you. I felt like I was in jail again. We'll wrap it up with this. What intrigues you when you talk about opponents going forward? Um, it's it's a lot of work out there at 140, and you know, um, right now we're gonna go to the drawing board with Al Heyman and um see what's best for me. But I'm definitely going back to the gym, and um I, I'm looking forward to get one of them titles uh, uh this year at 140. At 140. All right, Adrian Broner, congratulations on the victory. Good to see you back. Uh thank y'all, man. Hey, I love y'all, Cincinnati. Stand up, man. We back, man. Adrian Broner, victorious. Uh, joining us uh, now backstage is Giovanni Santiago. Uh, our Felix de Jesus will do the uh, the translation. Uh, Giovanni, you suffer your first defeat. Were you surprised by the judge's decision? Tu primera derrota, Giovanni, en el boxeo, dice Brian Custer. Eh, ¿Te sorprende la decisión de los jueces? No. 
¿No? No, no te sorprende. ¿Por qué? No, Ebron hizo un gran trabajo y... No, it doesn't surprise me. Ebron made a, did a nice job in there. You outlanding him, uh, obviously, to the body, uh, more jabs and everything. Uh, at, at what point did you feel maybe then the f you were losing this fight? Es, eh, los números enseñan que tú tenías más golpe a, al cuerpo, eh, le tiraste más jab. ¿Cuándo tú pensabas que estabas perdiendo la pelea? No, nunca pensé que estaba perdiendo la pelea, pero fue una pelea bastante reñida y imagino que la decisión se puede ir para ambos lados y... No, la decisión could have gone both ways. It's not that I thought that I was losing the fight. It was more that uh, the, the fight could have gone both ways. He fought a great fight, but we were in it to, to win this fight and... That's what happened. He got the decision. Uh, Giovanni, obviously, uh, you know, you get the, the defeat. What did you think about your performance? And you said, listen, maybe a lot of people don't know who I am coming into this fight, but they will after this fight. What do you think boxing fans are saying about you now? Antes de, de la pelea, tú dijiste, Giovanni, que la gente, el boxeo van a saber, los fanáticos van a saber lo que Giovanni Santiago puede demostrar en el ring. Eh, ¿Tú pensaste que llegaste a esa meta en el día de hoy? Sí, pero me faltó... Meterle un poco más de, de presión y tirar un poco más medio mano. Yes, no, I think uh, uh, it was great, but um, uh, boxing fans know who I am now. But definitely to win this fight, I think I should have done a little more pressure, and the fight would have gone my way. Listen, you're still a young man, uh, obviously at 30, 31 years old. It is your only defeat. But where where does Giovanni Santiago go from here? Eres un hombre joven todavía, 31, 32 años. Eh, ¿A dónde va Giovanni ahora? ¿Cuál sería la próxima pelea? ¿Cuáles son los planes de Giovanni en un futuro ahora inmediato? Nada, eso me toca hablar con mi equipo de manejo y a ver qué es lo que hay. I need to uh, talk with my management team, see where we go next. But, um, uh, you know, the performance today says a lot about me. All right, Giovanni Santiago, uh, appreciate the, the time. He suffers his first defeat. Thank you, Giovanni. Gracias, Giovanni. Apreciamos tu tiempo. Gracias. Thank you. All right, now before we recap our evening,